So within about an hour of getting our rental car, I hit a curb, a cobblestone curb, and I popped the tire. So unfortunately, we had to wait around for someone to come help us. And the super sweet old man came and changed our tire, but unfortunately, it took most of our day. So we decided to just take the day um, and drive all around Loch Ness and we basically didn't have a plan other than stop when we see something pretty and there was a lot of things that were pretty so we stopped a lot and um, it honestly was way bigger than I thought and we tried to go to a castle at the end but it was, it was closed by the time we got there so unfortunately we didn't get to see it. But later on, we see a castle. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I got two. Did you? I got okay. two. Oh, you said oh, sweet. Now we're at Loch Ness. And I gotta go find my mom and Katie because it took off. Go down this little path here. It's really pretty, very quiet. Like no tourists, which is awesome. Would not think there would be no tourists in such a beautiful, well known location, but here we are. Oh, they're there. This feels very magical, like a fantasy world. Okay. <laughs> so we are in this fairy forest. Oh, fairy forest, yeah. Fairy forest. We just took some photos, and it's <laughs> like We've done some frolicking. That's for sure. Did a lot of frolicking. It's a very pretty little uh, this forest path, yeah. Um, and now we are gonna go get coffee and move on to oh, the yeah. next. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Could always use a cup of joe. Always use a cup of joe. It's the worst accent ever. Do like a, <laughs> know what that was? Accent, ax, wow, accent switcheroo. I don't Going even know. Canadian yeah, Canadian, to really Australian, really poor, anything but Australian Scottish. British. Yeah. So now we're going to the car because my mom is freezing, so she's waiting in there because it's pretty cold outside. And we're back on the road. On the road again. On the road again.
Uh, <laughs> so we're going on a nice little trail. We're going on a hike. <laughs> we're gonna go see Rogi Fall. Ro Rogi? Rogi? I don't know. Some, I don't know how to pronounce. A waterfall. A uh, waterfall, yeah. And I'm um, gonna go take some, some pics. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe fly the drone again? Oh yeah, definitely fly the drone. <laughs> My twilight dreams. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll find Edward Cullen in this forest. I hope so. Can I tell him that his hair is stupid. <laughs> found a garden and technically it's closed because it's still it's still winter but it was so pretty so I had some flowers Katie is lost to the gardens now I guess I don't know where she is <laughs> um, and we also found a bathroom we're driving on route what is it called mom I think it's the NC 500 NC 500 so it's like a it's like Route 66, I guess. It's a very pretty, but it's a long route. With very little, oh, there's Katie. <laughs> very little bathrooms. <laughs> and there's part of both of our things in here, Maria. What's for dinner? Her... Red wine, as always. And white wine. Oh, and white, white wine. White wine, and... Um, Haggis, cracked black pepper, okay. chips, and really good, and already sampled. Okay. 
And then I wanted some Indian food, so ch um, some chicken biryani. Yeah, well that sounds good. And then yeah. we're doing so soups. Yeah, maybe we well, can chicken. Somewhere on the you know, we might as well. And yeah. then some... I mean, it is a typical thing in England. Golden yeah. butter up Indian. squash. Yeah. This is our little Airbnb. It's like in the countryside. This has been a very, very cool trip. I think I've had um, too much time kind of constrained by the rules of the army and, you know, really not being able to travel because work and it's just, it just didn't, it didn't make sense and it wasn't easy to try and travel. And so for the last like seven or eight years, I really just didn't do, anything that like made my soul feel free and um this trip has just been like the most um inspirational and like magical and fun and nostalgic in a way which is very strange because I've never been here before but I don't know there's just something about being able to go somewhere that you've always wanted to go um that you've never been and um like I have family from many generations ago that is from Scotland. Um, so that's cool to like see, uh, you know, where my family lineage is from. And sometimes I think when you visit a place that your family is from, you haven't been there, it can feel like home anyway. Um, 
so that was really cool um to feel that and we're about like two-thirds of the way over with the trip i think like the big stuff we've seen already and now it's just going to be kind of like squeezing in any last minute stuff um but i'm just really really grateful that i got to come here and that my mom and my childhood best friend came with me and um, they're still in the store looking at antiques and stuff um i got this really cute little box um from this lady who's like just the most friendly old lady i've ever met everyone here is so nice I'm not used to that um especially living on the east coast in the u.s but yeah i don't know i think i think this trip is a really pivotal changing point in my life and um it marks you know a new not only a new chapter but a new book getting out of the army starting the life i always wanted to live so i'm just i'm really ready for what's to come <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching um this was just so much fun and i hope this inspires you to take your dream trip with your favorite person or by yourself even and just get out there and see the world because there's so much to see and so much life to experience but i will see you in my next video bye